The European Youth Press is going to start an international event magazine online in the beginning of September. The Youth Press was invited by the city of Potsdam to hold a workshop about this within the framework of the M100 colloquium. This online platform was created during the workshop where members from five of the Youth Press countries met in Potsdam to discuss how they can cooperate using new media in the new online platform. The website www.orangelog.eu is a part of the European Youth Press Orange project, an education project to teach new young journalists using online multimedia content. Jona Hödele, Secretary General of the organization, tells us more about the Orange project. The Orange project is an event magazine originally started as a paper magazine in Germany and Sweden and Poland and uh, some other countries, also in Switzerland. And now we want to start an international English magazine online with multimedia content, also with videos, podcasts, digital photos, and so on. The meeting in Potsdam State Chancellery took place before the large conference M100, when journalists from all over Europe will meet. During that conference, European Youth Press will present their new project. Susanna Hull from Sweden is one of the participants in this project who will do the presentation. I think the, the Orange Longer to EU is going to be a great platform and a great tool for young journalists to work with. I'm very interested in, in new media and, and the, the ways that journalists change um, regarding to new technologies. Around 50 young journalists met in Potsdam to start the project and to set up the website. One of them, Adam Papkuster from Hungary, shares his experience. Well, it's a cool conference because we are here from several countries and uh, we are talking about uh, Web 2.0 and uh, orangelog.eu website. All this is a very good conception, I think. Um, so it's about uh, events, international events, uh, which can be interesting for people in lots of countries, but uh, we have to do a lot more things with it. We can end it with a visit to the UFA TV Productions company, where the young journalists not only got to see the studios, but also got to hear about the TV production in Germany and to see some inspiring examples of different ways to use the new types of media.